Okay. <clears throat> need aluminum, I need alkali, and I need, whoop, no, put that in two. Put that in one, there we go. And I need metal. All right, now that I have render ability, I should be able to actually find stuff. Metal. Metal. Okay, that's just ice. What is that? Oh, that's ice too. So is that. Nothing in there. I think that might be a deposit. Nope, that's just ice. That looks like something. Not much. Ah, there's another one. Not bad. That's a, that's a decent hole. What is that anyway? Oh, it's a radio. Make water. So, what do I need to make? Uh, let's see. Beef grenade requires batteries, metal, and a can of beef. Construction kit requires rubber, resin, and titanium. Ah, so I do in fact need rubber that isn't converted into duct tape. Dang it! Electronics, glass, and wire. I don't think I even have any more glass. What is this? Now you know a little bit more about mental illness. And 10% to accelerators, to accelerator speed. Nice. Steak. It would be almost impossible to find a real steak after the ban on eating meat and, as a consequence, the mass death of all kinds of livestock. People say there are underground warehouses with frozen, non-synthetic meat somewhere, 
but usually it's either rumors or these people are simply scammers. It's likely that most of the synthetic cows transported on the liner were killed together with the passengers, and there's not much left of them. Let's hope that this really is synthetic cow meat. However, before eating it, it's better to check it for traces of bioglue first, so as to not accidentally eat a piece of some unfortunate passenger. Do, 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 do. Obsolete accelerator. Uh, chemical reaction, shawarma, disconnect to the spacesuit. Currently there's like Christmas tinsel, large accelerator, jet accelerator. A durable tank for chemical regions, a controlled reaction of gas emission, and a complex pumping system make this accelerator very effective. It's not safe to use untested military prototypes, of course, but to be honest, most of the things created earlier were untested prototypes as well. Repair tool, dispenser, beef grenade. Burn a Patty is one of the most, most popular outdoor games among kids. The recipe is simple. They dump some expired beef on the asphalt and cover it with a plastic bag. Then they wait for 10 minutes, after which the bravest kid sticks a match with its head up in the middle of the plastic bag and lights it. A beef grenade works on almost the same principle and will help to open locked doors, break robots, or destroy asteroids. Hmm. Everyone loves money, although few people have it. The socialist regime is trying to control the possibility of accumulating money and the income gap of different segments of the population. However, it's difficult to control all the galaxies, so corruption thrives almost everywhere. If you make the handy scrapper more durable, it won't acquire any new properties, but it won't get broken for a longer period of time. A convenient tool for analyzing ore veins, if you find any. The analyzer is also very useful in the area with spilled mayo. It will help to determine if there are any useful or useless resources even in such an unusual substance. Alcohol. Yep. Discharge cell. Explosives. Unlike throwing grenade, you shouldn't throw a bomb in an unknown direction. You should plant it carefully, fly away carefully, and after that contemplate the result of your work. Taking into account the power of the explosion, it would be better to abandon the idea of planting a bomb. However, some locks of the liner can't be opened without it. Even a blaster won't do the job here. A substitute for a simple spark plug, but it's much more powerful and adept to deep work in space. It can ignite anything, including the one who ignites it. It's chiefly used in the creation of large engines. Maneuver engine. This engine is too big and resource intensive to be used as a spacesuit accelerator and too weak to be the main engine of a large su shuttle. Well, however, without such engines, the ship will only be able to fly forward. Beef pellet. Beef fuel pellets. They don't make these nowadays and don't transport them anywhere, except for some small distant planets. Their appearance at the crash site is a different story, but since they exist, they can be used as intended. For example, as fuel for engines with an outdated fuel system. Required for running obsolete engines. Well, apparently, that's not the one that I currently have. Uh, glass, plastic, goo, salt, shawarma, paint, titanium, resin, electronics, encrypted tape. No, I already read that one. Breathage energy core. Every modern engine has an energy core, which arrived to replace common fuel. Uh, da -da -da. Can easily colonize space in a matter of decade, inferior to government ones. I think I already read that, actually. They're still trying to fight off the explosion hazard of synthetic synthetic beef, as well as it's not very good taste. But for now, only notifying citizens saves them from mass casualties so far. Every inhabitant of space knows more about beef than about traffic rules because beef is everywhere, but traffic isn't. The main ingredient of beef pellets. Manure doesn't burn much, but smolders and produces a lot of smoke. However, when, handl when handled properly, it can turn into organic fuel. It's environmentally friendly, cheap, and inefficient. S inductor. 
Apart from using 40 kilograms of electrical tape to construct any module, you would also need some more complex tools, like a chisel and a hammer. Every self-respecting astronaut should have such a toolkit. However, it's not easy to find it in this chaos of debris. It might be easier to make one yourself. A vacuum diode used as a high-voltage rectifier. It's hard to find one nowadays, and easy to break it. Most often, kendotrons are installed in TVs, but they may be used in more complex devices as well. It will be almost impossible to find an intact kendotron after the disaster, but for making such a device you can always use electrical tape, molten glass, and a straw for blowing bowls. Okay, I've researched the spacesuit, detached the brackets. Lots of stuff that I've probably already read. If someone can hear us, that's the funeral study, shuttle Normandy. Okay. Comparts. I don't know what's new. It's probably this thing. Transport platform, yeah. Decor, floor. Yep. Those definitely exist. Collections of items. Posters, notes, kitchen, prints, photos, items, equipment, miscellaneous, yep, and got that out of there. Drink that water. Just need to get a little bit more metal and should be able to head back. Man, all of these random bits are kind of annoying. Radio. Oh, hey, a battery. Nice. Empty. Battery, metal, plastic, I should probably look for the electronic bits instead of all of the alkali because batteries come pre-made when you smash open a radio. Wire. That's a good amount of metal. Oh wait, that's a large ball. And inventory is full. All right, time to head back. All right, can't make anything right off the bat, but that's fine. I can eat that nutrient, and I can drink one of the water. 
What I need to find is more resin. Where's the bike? I know it's around here somewhere. Ah, it's all the way down there for some reason. Really ought to disassemble all these things. But I don't have inventory space right now, so whatever. Oh, no, it's that one. I think it's resin and metal to get the fuel. I can't remember the recipe. Oh, hey, I think that's resin up there. I should probably go grab it. Drop off the order and the alarm clock. Those are useless to me. Okay, where to go this time? Ah, there it is. Nope, that is not resin. I can free up a couple of inventory slots by going down here and using the radio thing. That's resin. this oh it is that okay hard to tell sometime did I already get that one no okay I need to make a new one of those This guy did not have a good day. These mugs are sold in the central dolphinarium on Earth. Sharks have been completely exterminated a long time ago, but they still manage to injure hundreds of people every year, even when they're in the form of un such unsafe mugs. A dangerous predator, although in this case the predator just stuck to the floating remains.
Okay, that's metal. And a ball of it. Electronics. Brain. Dang it. Three already new locations. There it is. Electronics. Ooh, aluminum. Need to make another one of those. Well, that's interesting looking. Up there is my base. Nice. Bit closer than uh, going to that thing. I don't know if I'm going to have quite enough time to get there without taking damage, though. Okay, there we go. Hmm. What do I need? I need this. I need the lead paint that's already in my inventory. Okay. 
And good. Well, that only takes one minute. All right, equipment. Engineering suit requires two resin, two rolls of fabric, four aluminum, and a lead paint. Dang it. Hmm. How do I make fuel again? Metal and resin. And I left the beef at the other place. Okay, how do I make a drill again? Because I'm going to need that for the paint, I think. Magnetic master key requires magnet and tape. Uh, drill requires refined metal and tape. Well, I got some aluminum out of it, which is nice. I might need the drill later for getting electronics or something, though. Probably a good idea to have one just in case. Nice. Can of beef is somewhere. There you are. That'll make three. Actually, you know what? I only want to make two, I think. Resources, refined metal. Equipment, tools, need the tape too. I know I have tape somewhere. Yeah, there it is. And then this needs a magnet and tape.
and that leaves me just enough to make one beef grenade. A handmade explosive de device made from a can of synthetic beef, a battery, and a simple clockwork device. The gas accumulating in the can ignites from a tiny spark that occurs on close con on contact closure, causing an uncontrolled chemical reaction of the can's expansion, followed by the dispersion of the burning beef mass in all directions. I'll put that in slot one. Hmm. Take as much out of here as possible. Put it in here. Nice. I'll just run this over to the bigger base. And then call it. Where is it? All the way over here. It's a nice central location. And eventually, I'll have enough resources that I can just build stuff. Annoying that you can't put things into a suitcase and then carry the suitcase. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of suitcases. That planet is really far away. I doubt that I could get there on one oxygen tank. Yeah. I am ever so slightly closer to actually having a functional space. Okay, so for the medium transport module, I need two resin and two construction kits. And for that, I need rubber, resin, and titanium. Rubber. 
resin. Of all things, I didn't bring titanium. All right, well, I'll call it there. <laughs>